to ventilate squeeze the bag. The chest should rise with each breath. Pay attention to the resistance you feel as the lungs inflate. Obstruction makes squeezing the bag more difficult, whereas a leak in the ventilation system makes squeezing the bag very easy. In both these cases, however, the chest won't rise well. When in doubt, have a helper listen to the chest as you ventilate. You should hear breath sounds. Although there are some medical conditions where breath sounds are hard to hear, the absence of breath sounds almost always means inadequate ventilation. If an end tidal CO2 device monitors the patient, you should see evidence of exhaled CO2. Always use the least force required to effectively inflate the lungs. Too large a tidal volume risks pneumothorax, especially with children. Slow, steady inflation is usually more effective than rapid jerky puffs because the gas is more likely to expand the chest and less likely to distend the stomach.